Let's now look at task 8 of the to-do list and you'll see on the left hand side the instructions here are telling you to create a pivot table to summarise ticket sales for January. So I've opened up the ticket sales spreadsheet and now we have to create the pivot table. It's asking us to show the value of the ticket sales for each transaction type and also the percentage these are of the total sales. So we can do all this when we set up our pivot table and this is how you do it. So make sure you click somewhere within your data and then go to insert and then pivot table. Now with pivot tables you can either have the table within the sheet you're working in or as a completely separate sheet and by default you're given the option to put the pivot table in a new worksheet so we're going to leave it there press OK. What that means is actually whatever you have here will stay that won't go away but you can play a bit with your pivot table and build it up to what you need it to be. So I know that I have to only show the January sales so I'm going to create a filter so you'll notice here I have a section for filter and I've got the field order date so let me just bring the order date down into filter and it's sitting up here in the top left hand corner. If I was to look at this little drop down um, arrow option here you'll see I've got all January and I've also got February which we'll deal with in a minute or two. We also want to sort by transaction type so let's drag down transaction type into rows and let's find the value by dragging the transaction value into the values box. So now it's starting to take shape, doesn't look quite right yet and we'll have to go back now and filter it so we're only showing the January sales. So back up to filter, drop down option, we're going to select multiple items. You'll see there it's selected actually um, all, so let's just untick all and let's just go down and make sure that we have selected all the ticket sales that have happened in January. There we go. And then let's click on OK. So we now have only the transactions online and by phone for January. We also want to show this as a percentage of the total. So how we do that is we're going to actually drag down transaction value again under values. So we've got two columns of the same thing. But what we can do here is in the second column, if I click on it and then right click, you'll notice there I can show values as. And if you look at the column, the, the, the drop down list here, you'll see the very many options that we have. So let's show values as percent of grand total. So we're almost finished. The only thing I do want to do is I just really want to tidy this up. So for example, I don't want it to be called row labels. We can change that to transaction uh, type. That looks better. In fact, let me just drag that column to make it a bit wider. We don't need sum of transaction value. Let's change that and just call it value. And then again with column C heading, let's change that, make it, make it look a bit more appropriate. And let's just change that to percent of grand total. We can go back and perhaps just narrow, narrow the columns just a little bit. We're just now tidying it up. And the last thing I want to do is I do want to format um, the values here to put a pound sign and also decimal places. So the best way to do that is just to click, right click on one of the, the values and go to value field settings. And you'll see there down at the bottom number format. Click on that. Let's click on currency. Um, that looks fine. Let's press OK and press OK again. And now you have your um, pivot table filtered by month and showing transaction value online phone, the values and the percent of grand total. So that is how you do task eight.